Please stand. Now, you see a lot of uh, press back there. So before we go any further, I want to address today's sentencing of a man, Roger Stone. Roger Stone. He's become a big part of the news over the last little while. And I'm following this very closely, and I want to see it play out to its fullest, because Roger has a very good chance of exoneration, in my opinion. I've known — and you people understand it probably better than anybody in the room. I've known Roger Stone and his wife, who's really a terrific woman, for a long time. And Roger's definitely a character. Everybody sort of knows Roger. Everybody knows him. And most people like him. Some people probably don't. But I do, and I always have. Uh, he's a smart guy. He's a little different. But those are sometimes the most interesting. But he's a good person. His family is fantastic. He's got a fantastic family. And there's always a reason for that, isn't there? Roger was never involved in the Trump campaign for president. He wasn't involved. I think early on, long before I announced, he may have done a little consulting work or something. But he was not involved when I ran for president. And he's a person who, again, he knows a lot of people having to do with politics. His whole life is politics. That's what he is. And it's my strong opinion that the forewoman of the jury, the woman who was in charge of the jury, it's totally tainted. When you take a look, how can you have a person like this? She was a anti-Trump activist. Can you imagine this? <laughs> now, you wouldn't know about a bad jury. Anybody here know about a bad No? <laughs> These people know more about bad juries than everybody here, including the sheriff and the mayor and everybody. <laughs> they know about bad juries. We're not going to say it too much. So let's not say it in front of more cameras than this. <laughs> but you're my experts, OK? No, but this is a woman who was an anti-Trump person, totally. Now, I don't know if this is a fact, but she had a horrible social media account. The things she said on the account were unbelievable. She didn't reveal that when she was chosen. And she's, I guess, from what I hear, a very strong woman, a very dominant person. So she can get people to do whatever she wants. And she got on, then she became the four-person, four-woman on the jury. And I assume they asked her a question. Do you have any bias? Do you have any? She didn't say that. So is that a defrauding of the court? You tell me. But does this undermine our fair system of justice? How can you have a person like this? Did she delete her social account? And when Roger was determined by the same jury to be guilty before the judge issued a sentence. And he was determined to be guilty. And she started going a little wild. She's very happy. And she started saying things that people said, that's strange. That's strange. And then they started looking at, now how can you have a jury pool tainted so badly? It's not fair. It's not fair. And, you know, it's not happening to a lot of other people. Because you could look — I won't name names, but everybody knows who I'm talking about. What's happening over there? Nobody. Nobody. There are people that are — even in Roger Stone's basic business of politics — that were going to be in big trouble. Well-known people, the biggest people, big trouble. They were forced to leave their firm. One man was forced to leave his firm, and he was going to — bad things were going to happen to him the following day. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. He was the biggest. Nothing happened. But it happened to Roger Stone, and it happened to General Flynn, and it happened to — I won't name names — it happened to a lot of people <laughs> and destroyed a lot of people's lives. And I'm here to make a fair system. Again, Roger is, is not somebody who worked in my campaign. I know Roger, but a lot of people know Roger. Everybody sort of knows Roger. And what happened to him is unbelievable. They say he lied. 
But other people lied, too. Just to mention, Comey lied. McCabe lied. Lisa Page lied. Her lover, Struck, Peter Struck, lied. You don't know who these people are? Just trust me, they all lied. You had people that forged documents. You had people that wrote fake dossiers and brought them to the FBI and used people in the Justice Department to get them to the FBI. And these people know in the front row, you know better than anybody in this room what the hell I'm talking about, probably. <laughs> so I'm only responding to you. I'm not even talking to the folks out there. But they get it better than anybody, too. A lot of bad things are happening, and we're cleaning it out. We're cleaning the swamp. We're draining the swamp. I just never knew how deep the swamp was. So if this woman was tainted, I hope the judge will find that she was tainted. And if she isn't tainted, that will be fine, too. But I'm not going to do anything in terms of the great powers bestowed upon a president of the United States. I want the process to play out. I think that's the best thing to do, because I'd love to see Roger exonerated, and I'd love to see it happen, because I personally think he was treated very unfairly. They talk about witness, witness tampering, but the man that he was tampering didn't seem to have much of a problem with it. I think they know each other for years, and it's not like the tampering that I see on television, when you watch a movie, that's called tampering. With guns to people's heads and lots of other things. So we're going to see what it is. Maybe there was tampering and maybe there wasn't. But I can tell you that there was tremendous lying, really lying and leaking classified documents. That you don't know about. But they leaked classified documents. You know, there was a young sailor who took pictures of an old submarine and sent them to his mother and a friend. And they destroyed his life. I let him out. They were considered classified. Now, Russia and China, I guarantee you, have the pictures of this submarine for a long time. The submarine was like 30 years old. They had them in the uh, first year. They didn't have to wait for the 30th year. But this is a famous story. And they had his pictures, and they put him in jail. He sent them to his mother and to his friend. His friend was not interested in what you're thinking. And there were many other cases where documents were leaked, even accidentally. It's so classified documents are so important that even if they are leaked accidentally, now Hillary Clinton leaked more classified documents than any human being, I believe, in the history of the United States of America, right? And she deleted 33,000 emails. And she said, oh, and by the way, if you did it five years, maybe more, okay? But you'd never have access to classified. Very few people have access. She deleted. 33,000 emails. I kept waiting. Because, you know, they can talk Benghazi, they can talk a hundred different things. What people understand is when you get rid of this kind of evidence, so the United States Congress said they subpoenaed her. They wanted to see her emails. After getting the subpoena, she deleted 33,000 emails. And they said, you remember this? Yes, the emails were about her yoga classes, her exercising, and her daughter's wedding. 33,000 about her daughter's wedding. That must have been the greatest wedding of all time. And nothing happened to her. And yet they'll put a young sailor in an old submarine with a picture, a couple of pictures. They'll put him into jail. And I pardoned him because it was unfair that she was able to do it at the highest level. And his level wasn't, what he did was 
It was confidential. Confidential is a much lower class than classified. So I tell you this because it's interesting. This is part of our nation. This is what's going on now. So I'm going to let this process play out. And we want to have a great and fair court system. And I hope you had a fair and, you know, fair and wonderful court system. But perhaps you didn't. Perhaps you didn't. And if you didn't, we want to straighten it out. But we have to straighten it out also at the top level. So we had a lot of dirty cops. FBI is phenomenal. I love the people in the FBI. But the people at the top were dirty cops. And if you would have read the report written about Comey, 78 pages of kill with a reference of, go get him. They really said it, go get him. And then you read about McCabe, and you see what they said, so bad. And we're just waiting. I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting here, standing here, talking to you. We're waiting. So I just want to uh, let the fake news media know <laughs> that I just want to let them know, because there's few people more dishonest than these people, I will tell you that. And you have some very good ones. A hell of a lot more dishonest than most of you in the audience were. But I'm going to let the media know that uh, I'm going to watch the process. I'm going to watch it very closely. And at some point, I'll make a determination. But Roger Stone and everybody has to be treated fairly. And this has not been a fair process. Okay? Thank you. So when I read